How's it going everyone? My name is Trevor Smith. I am starting this vlog channel to kind of give an update after my surgery. The uh, I had a lot of following after my surgery because of a little short documentary the BBC3 or BBC3 did on me during my journey with Tourette syndrome. So after these numerous Facebook messages, I'm now starting this channel to kind of give people an update of what's been going on. So, for those who don't know me, my name is Trevor Smith. I was born with some pretty severe Tourette syndrome. I was diagnosed at age seven. I started noticing my hands, eyes, and neck moving when I did not want them to. After seeing a doctor being diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, my tics started to slowly get worse over the years, well into my teenage years. At about 15 years old, um, my tics should have started slowing down by then, but never did. So I decided to seek medical help. Um, tried various medications, nothing seemed to work. My only option left was surgery, uh, deep brain stimulation surgery to be specific. So um, my story with Tourette's at this point was figuring out how do I convince insurance companies to cover $160,000 surgery, the experimental surgery, to help control my tics. It was a long three years of fighting insurance trying to raise $160,000 and bring awareness to my condition. In the end, the Mayo Clinic Foundation came through and helped pay for my surgery, which I've been very grateful for. Um, giving a very brief glimpse of my story, I will leave a link to the BBC3 documentary <clears throat> down in the description below. But I kind of want to talk about what's been going on since my surgery and after the video. So my family and I keep getting lots of messages lots of messages on Facebook asking what's Trevor up to? What has he been doing? How has his how has his surgery been helping him? So here it is. Um since the end of the documentary, the BBC, I've had at least maybe four, maybe five more programming appointments since what you've seen on BBC. Pro I go in for these, <clears throat> I go in for appointments to reprogram my stimulator, which controls the electrical current in my brain. <laughs> or at least to the leads that it's attached to. Um, we kind of think we've reached maybe about 70, 80% reduction in severity of my tics. Not so much physically gone, but life is a lot more bearable now. <laughs> um, all the years of constant moving has really taken its toll on me. And I've been grateful that I have the opportunity to live closer to a normal life now. I know some people are probably wondering, Trevor, what the hell happened to your long hair? Well, I'll tell you what. What's happening is going off to a new college. Kind of thought it was time for a new haircut. So, yeah, might do something a little different. Not quite sure. <clears throat> just graduated from North Iowa Area Community College. That was the community college in the documentary video you, we filmed that. I made it as one of the graduation speakers and a member of Phi Theta Kappa. I've been very grateful for the opportunities NIAC has provided for me and speaking and supporting me during my whole journey. And I'm will keep them forever in my heart because of all of what they've done.
<clears throat> at the moment, working as an engineering intern for my second summer at Winnebago Industries. That's been a lot of fun this summer so far. Been kind of hard with the coronavirus going on, but it is what it is. I'm hoping soon to find a way to help get my foundation out there. Um, a lot of people are shocked to hear, Trevor, you're only 19, you started a foundation? I'm like, yes, I have. Um, I started the Tourette Advocacy Foundation to help people just like me, to help older teens and adults living with Tourette Syndrome. I'm looking to help bring awareness to Tourette's for adults and older teens. I want to help provide networking for them because these were things I didn't have when I was suffering, at least going through the majority of my journey with Tourette's. I've got to talk to a few individuals who are just like me, and I've really seen that there's a real need for something like that in their lives. And I know the struggles because I had to work through them myself. <sighs> but, yeah. So, something a lot of people have been asking me is, Trevor, you've got all this going on. What are you hoping to do with your life? Well, as a 19-year-old, I can say, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping one day my foundation will take off enough to where I could do that full-time and help others who just like me. Um, some people ask, well, why I go to school for engineering? And I'll tell you why, and I'm going to school for engineering simply because I want to. I actually don't see myself doing engineering for very long, in my life at least. Um, I really don't know what exactly 100% I'll end up doing for the rest of my life, but at the same time, no one really does. I'm uh, just kind of going with the wind and see what happens. You know, I get asked this question not a lot, but I think it's a pretty good question and I respect and like what people ask it. And it kind of plays to a bigger point, but some people have asked me, Trevor, you ever wish that you never had Tourette's? <clears throat> Every time they ask, I always say no. Now, why do I say no? Because Tretz has given me a unique perspective on life and the opportunities that came from having came from having with came with from having Tourette's have been tremendous. <clears throat> I say Tourette's gives me a unique perspective on life because it forced me to it forced me to a, a question I had to <clears throat> I had to provide an answer for early on and that was can I live with being a victim of my tics or can I work around them and find a way to push forward and I think early on young teenager, I kind of just wanted to play victim to my tics. But then I realized that I wasn't going to get anywhere in life if I did. So I chose, I chose to work 
around my ticks and find a way to live a better life. Doing so has provided a lot of opportunities for things. Um, I can say I had, I got to have my song, one of my, two of my original, two songs I wrote myself recorded at the world famous Sweetwater Studios in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I got to play and speak at the Tretz Association of America's annual gala and in New York City in 20, 2018. That was a lot of fun. And then it had my story captured and recorded by the BBC. <clears throat> so I always tell people, Tretz has never been anything. Tretz was never, I should say, a disability in the sense that I can't function. It was a disability in that I'm always moving. It does put a damper on things. But I always found a way to push forward and find the best in life because at the end of the day, I realize that I'm the biggest beneficiary of my hard work. And achievement and success are the byproducts of that hard work. That was something someone said a while ago and I kind of held on to it and made that the, the slogan of my story. I've been very grateful for all the support I've gotten from my family, friends, and complete strangers in my story with Tourette's. I'm hoping to take this vlog somewhere and see what comes of it. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I have ideas and plans for the future. Uh, please leave a comment or send a message on Facebook to my Facebook, my fundraising Facebook page, DBS for Trevor Smith, and either myself or my father will get back to you. <laughs> and for more ideas and suggestions and what you'd like to see from me. Thank you, and have a great day.